133 kilometers an hour. 134. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There is an intersection, but there's no one. I'll just go through it flat out. 133. Well, all of a sudden I realized that today my track training school, Motivation Track Days, they are having a track day at Shikain Circuit. Why shouldn't I go visit them? And that is what I'm going to be doing now. Clutchless upshifts. Duke 390! <laughs> I'm still going. He's slowing down on the throttle. I'm still going. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Apache. Good. I can do clutchless upshifts as fast as a quick shifter. Nice right hand corner. Sweeping corner. Let's see if I get an opportunity to actually take that corner at a high speed. Come on, there is an intersection, but there is no one. I'll just go through it flat out. 133. There's a corner, but I'm going to take it as fast as possible. There are two trucks. I'm going to go right in between them. Just again, clutchless to fifth gear, 130 kilometers an hour, 131, 132, 33, come on baby, fully crouched down, 34, come on. I want to do 140. Can I do 140? On the Apache RTR, 200. Okay, don't be try again. Here we go. 131, 132. 133. 35, 135. Now this is going to be a very high speed corner here. Not enough leverage there. Wow. Brakes. Not very happy. Motivation. Motivation. Maruti Suzuki Swift Desire versus Apache Adia 200. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. If you are a big guy, it will not be easy for you to maneuver around this machine. 
if you're very tall or slightly on the bigger side but I'm having a lot of fun I can tell you that This bike is extremely fun to ride, extremely fun, so nimble, so lightweight and the carburetor on this motorcycle is crisp, absolutely crisp. The best part about being on a motorcycle on a highway is you don't really have to wait for people and cars to move away for you to overtake them you just have to do this squeeze in between gaps and go the highway is yours baby it doesn't matter on which motorcycle you are you can squeeze and move your way forward squeezing is fun isn't it <laughs> see what i just said if i were in a car i wouldn't have been able to do this I love cars too baby, I absolutely love cars, but when I'm on a motorcycle, I love a motorcycle. But again, what I'm saying is all high risk propositions, so take your call buddies, you're not kids, know what to do, there's a car right in front of a freaking highway, what you're doing is bloody reversing. So again, what I just spoke about, high risk propositions, but again, what in life is without risk? There's a truck coming from left, there's a bus coming from the right. Oh, that is a video game on streets. <laughs> now when people ask me, do you play video games? I say I play games only in real life. I hope this motorcycle has a good electronic rev limiter because I'm riding her to the extreme limit and I'm staying on the red line for extended periods of time and I don't want the engine to blow up. I truly don't want the engine to blow up, no jokes. That is where electronic rev limiters are very, very important. I'm missing the track now. I'm missing track riding after riding this motorcycle. I just want to get back to track riding. It's been quite some time now. Whoa, check that. Tavera. He just moved onto the left for no apparent reason. Oh, he wants to overtake the Maruti Suzuki Swift Desire. Let me overtake him. Speed bump, fuck, huge speed bump, my god, oh my god, and it's not even painted in white, shit, thanks buddy for letting me know. Someone's riding the 250 GT I think. Who slows down for speed bumps? I don't. I mean, slowing down means from 100 I go down to about 70 kilometers an hour or 60 kilometers an hour. That is slow enough. <laughs>